Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, out doing some more flying with the DJI um, O3 Air unit. Um, maybe you saw my video a day or two ago, um, depending on when I put this up, um, about how bad the image stabilization is, um, how much trouble I'm having, and I know others are, are having. Um, I've got it, uh, one of them mounted in a Diatone Roma L5 frame, and I've tried um, changing the frequency on the ESCs um, away from 24 hertz uh, per DJI's notes. Um, I've tried putting a little soft mounting on the camera and uh, it's, it's not helping. Um, today I'm out with my Cinelog 35, also with a O3 Air unit in it. And as you can see, super rubber dampened all around and mounted in TPU. So we'll see how this goes. I've gotten some okay footage out of this, um, but it's still not not great. Not like I'm seeing a lot of people get um, kind of confusing to me. So I put my DJI Action 2 on top as well. I already know what's going to happen. That's going to be smooth. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with the O3. Um, I'm just going to keep keep at it. Um, I'm going to do a couple flights, one with the uh, Rocksteady on and one with it off. So do a little comparison and... Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll have the flight footage up now. Thanks for watching. Okay, first up, a little footage from an unstabilized flight. And as you can see, there was a little bit of jerkiness at the beginning, but overall, I feel like this is pretty smooth video footage we're getting here. Um, Cinelog 35 Performance has this rubber damping that I talked about. Um, before the flight video and I think it really helps give you some pretty smooth video um, not fully stabilized like an action camera but pretty nice um, really have no complaints with how this looks overall um, so next up here in a second I'm going to show you some stabilized footage in the exact same area um, I think you'll uh, find that it's a pretty big improvement at least I think it is so here's that footage. Um, it's still not perfect, but even at the takeoff, it just looks, looks better. Um, kind of smooth that out a little bit. The other thing is um, this has that DJI action camera um, stabilization, I guess, um, look. I don't know what else to call it. I feel like it has a rocking motion when you make turns and stuff, almost like it's in the water. Um, but this is night and day better than what I had when I was at both 96 K Hertz and, uh, definitely 24 K Hertz, um, which was a disaster pretty much. Um, but I'm really happy with this footage. I think, um, it's going to be very usable for me. Um, I'll have to tilt the camera a little bit to get the prop guards out of the way, but, um, yeah, I think this is, this is great. Um, huge improvement and it's working for this quad. All right, so this footage is from uh, a couple days ago. I was set at 24K Hertz on my ESCs. And as you can see, it's pretty herky-jerky. This is stabilized footage. And you can probably see the wavering out in the distance and the shakiness. Um, yeah, this is just, this is garbage. This is not what anybody is expecting from the O3 unit, but I know lots are having this. So I just wanted to show this footage and show you um, you know, comparison, you saw the video before and now, um, this is what I was dealing with and, uh, yeah, anyway, so maybe this will help somebody, you know, just kind of mess with those ESC frequencies if you can, and it might help. And then lastly, just for fun, this is from that, um, other flight. This is from the DJI Action 2, um, you know, there's no jerkiness in this at all. Um, it's better than the full, the stabilized from the O3, um, but the O3 still looked pretty good, and uh, I'm really happy with this, um, this current um, setup that I've got going. So next up, I'm going to be working on my Diatone Aroma L5, which um, I've been having lots of problems. I've posted some videos of that. Um, I just uh, 3D printed some uh, camera mounts. I replaced the front end of the Roma with some standard um, standoffs, and uh, gonna be putting that video up tomorrow or the next day. I just gotta get out and fly it. Um, I haven't flown it yet, but I'm hoping for some uh, really good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.